If you don't have a plan, if you don't have data, a lot of people can invest through emotion, right? And so the idea behind investing is to buy low and sell high. But when you follow an emotional investment cycle sparked by reactive decisions, this can bring the opposite effect. So by buying at higher prices and selling at lower prices, you're going to be losing over time. And that's what happens a lot. So the average investor, and I think it's a Dalbar and Vanguard, they do this study every year. And they study, it's somewhere around 30 to 50,000 uh, 30, uh, 30 to 50,000 investors, excuse me. And they find consistently that investors that invest on their own get about 3% lower returns on average than somebody that works with a financial advisor. And part of that is behavioral. Part of that is asset location and asset allocation. And part of that is the tax uh, strategies that we can imp implement with everything. But the average return for investors doing things on their own is 3% lower. This is why I 100% believe in the value of an advisor and you guys all do as well. That's why you're here today. But we can go through these cycles here and follow a very reactive type of philosophy when it comes to investing and it's the opposite of what you want to do.